Hi, welcome to another Derek Does. Today, we're gonna do these. So today it's the LVC Vintage Levi Clothing 1937-501 model. I picked this pair up for my son because he didn't have a pair of salvage jeans like me. Uh, he's kind of getting into them. And so I got him a 37 and I got it from Arrow Leather in Scotland. They're having a huge sale right now. So check it out if you want to. They have tons of, well, not tons, but they have lots of jackets. They've got uh, quite a few pairs of LVCs. Plus they have uh, European uh, Lee jeans available also. Uh, but they, uh, I got them a pair of 37s. Uh, these are the 30, 34 size in the uh, 37 uh, LVCs, and I'm going to kind of show you what you get with uh, the 501 37 model as opposed to like the 55s or the 47s. Or I've shown you some other pairs uh, or models that Levi sells, LVC sells. But I'm going to show you all the features of the 37s. Uh, now, this pair we got a couple days ago, and I've already done a cold soak, actually, a warm soak because I needed to shrink a little bit in this. So I've done a warm soak on these. Uh, and they shrunk up pretty nicely for them and they seem to fit them really nice. So um, I was gonna show you what, what you get with the jeans and what features those come with and that sort of thing that uh, you may be interested in. Uh, so let's take a look. So first off, this is the jeans themselves. They came raw. Uh, if you notice, the first thing you'll notice is the Arcolette here is a single needle. And it's actually sewn. If you remember my 44s, it's not sewn. They were saving this bit of thread and it was painted on. You can watch that video. What comes with your jeans when you get them brand new, they would have had this tag on it, uh, showing that it's a pair of uh, Levi's. And then it has, uh, this one actually has a copyright 2000 uh, on it. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when these came out. This is the Japanese denim, not the cone denim. Uh, but again, this is not the American market. This was a European pair, just so you know, because this was purchased in Scotland and shipped. Uh, and then it also came with this. This was always in the pocket when you get it. And they do a nice little uh, to the owner of this 37 501s. And inside, although here's some other pieces of it, you get this little letter uh, to the owner. I won't do the whole thing. So if you do get a pair, it'll be a bit of a surprise for you. But um, so it comes with this letter that uh, Levi's gives you. Uh, they also show you how to set up your cinch because you will have a cinch um, for this. So I guess it's 2021 perhaps is when this model uh, was originally made. Uh, here's your uh, original LVC tag that would be attached to it showing the 1937 shrink to fit model. You also get uh, your concealed rivets. Uh, that would have been right here when the jeans were brand new. Uh, Levi's also gives you, they give you a lot of stuff. Uh, this is uh, how to wash them. You can either wear them rigid, dip them in the tub or wash them. And uh, this would be at the top of the waist showing that it's the 501 with the size and the Levi's. That's from 2016, so they haven't updated that at all. And then, of course, the original uh, tab, which would have been on the back pocket. So this is all the stuff that comes with your jeans. Now let's take a look at the actual jeans. Uh, top off, just visually, again, you get the single needle on the back pocket. Uh, you, it's, a doll, it's a Japanese raw denim you get. It does have the uh, red tab. Now the thing about the 37s is this is the very first year that Levi's put a red tab on their jeans. And then if you look here, it's only one-sided. Now, when you look at the 44s I showed you, it was double-sided. And I believe that was the first year that they did the double-sided Levi's. So you know it's an actual pair of Levi's. But the 37s is just one side. It has the hidden rivets. You can feel them here, and I'll show you on the inside. Uh, has uh, a leather tab, tag, uh, and it's real leather, not that uh, paper that's like leather. Uh, and has the 501 and uh, the size. Uh, as you can see, this early one doesn't actually say made in the USA because I, they probably assume that you would know that. 
On the back, you have belt loops, but you also have a cinch. So 37s was the first year that they uh, had the cinch and the belt loops, but no suspender buttons. I think the 33s, you get all of that. You get belt loops, you get suspenders, and you also you get the cinch all in one package. I didn't like the 33s. I love the, the fit of the 33s, but I didn't like having the suspender buttons because they would dig into your, your waist when you put a belt on. And you, so you really shouldn't wear it with a belt with the suspender button just because it, it does dig into your body a little bit. And now the front is, is your classic five pocket. You have uh, salvage here, just like all LVCs. Uh, regular pockets, button fly. Uh, the belt loops on the 37 are, are kind of wide. You can see that they're wider than like the 47s or the 55s. They're a little fat. That's just how it is. Here you can see the hidden rivets. You have, uh, of course, the hidden rivets on each of the back pockets. Now this one doesn't have uh, the, uh, the stitch, the safety stitch running up. That was, I think, later just on the 44s and 55s and later, and then they probably dropped that uh, on the modern jeans. Let's take a look at the button because everyone likes to know so it's a 3015. If you're familiar with all that, you can look that up and you can tell exactly where these were made, even though it's Japanese denim. Uh, it is made in Japan because uh, the tag here on the inside does say made in Japan. And so it comes with all your information, according to the size and the model and all that stuff. Uh, and again, they also stamp the pocket bags with Levi's vintage clothing on it. It's a nice heavy pocket bag too, a nice heavy canvas. It's not that thin, like a modern jean that's going to wear through. This is actually a, a pretty sizable canvas. Uh, so that pocket bag should last quite a while. Uh, and again, you do have the, uh, the back cinch. So you don't have to wear a belt with these. You can wear this, keep it cinched and keep it quite nice. Uh, one of the uh, extras, and this is the last year I believe that Levi still did this, is you have the crotch rivet. Uh, later, uh, I believe Lee actually stopped doing it because cowboys, th theoretically, I guess the story is cowboys would be leaning uh, in their Lee jeans with the crotch rivet up close to the fire to get warm at night. And it'd get kind of hot and you don't want this area hot. So Levi's took that out or Lee's took that out and then probably Levi's followed with it. Uh, modern jeans are just, uh, they usually have a, a, a sewn there and there's uh, always usually a bar tack down here. These, I don't really see a bar tack on that. I think the modern ones do have that. But here you can see it's, it's got the rivets just like a normal, normal pair of Levi's. Uh, and then for the salvage, it has a nice red line. Now these were the 34s. I got him in the 34 so he could have uh, some roll on it. And I think you can get these up to a 36 size, but they did not have that available. So they only had uh, this in the 34, which was fine for him. I would like the 36s just because you get a little more for me. I have a little bit of longer leg uh, and could use that. I'll just hang them up here. So you can kind of see how they look full length. Again, these have no days of wear on them. These are brand new, never been worn, but you can see it's already twisted because I did do a uh, single soak on it. What happens with your uh, vintage uh, or salvage jeans really is you'll get some leg twist like this, depending on how the fabric is made. There's uh, left and there's also right twist. Lee's usually go right, I think, and Levi's go left, depending on how the fabric is. I'll show you that and then the back, just you can see. They're just a great pair of Levi's. They're classic, they're not too big, they're not too small. They're just great pre-war denim.
they're almost like the perfect pair of jeans because you get so much with this pair of jeans uh, that uh, you don't get with others. Plus the fit's really nice. So again, I just wanted to kind of show you uh, the 37501 from uh, LVCs. Um, this is a brand new pair. Again, one wash. Uh, and hopefully maybe I can show you in six months how these break down and how they wear really nice. And I'll do that with my 44s also, which I'm currently wearing uh, when I get a little more wear on those and it starts showing. If you like this sort of content, please subscribe, comment, like. Uh, I'm trying to hit all the LVCs if I can, if I can get them. Uh, I've done uh, 47s, 55s, 44s, 37s. I don't have 33s right now. I mean, I sold all my other jeans because they were just, uh, I, out, I undergrew them. So they were just too big for me and I kind of sold them. I had a pair of uh, 201s, some other stuff. I should have done videos and I didn't think about it. Uh, but I just got these and I, oh, I should do a video on these uh, 37s. I like them so much I might want to get a pair for myself. But I do want a 47s in my size also. Uh, but there you go. Uh, if you're thinking about buying a pair, totally buy a pair. They're not cheap anymore. Uh, so be pick a pair that, that fits, not just fits you, but fit your personality that you want because you won't be able to buy many pairs of LVCs, uh, maybe one or two, and uh, just pick ones that you like because, uh, or the features you like, and uh, you'll be quite happy when you do that. So I'll see you on the next video.